Good morning. It is National Court Reporter and Captioning Week, and I wanted to explain to, uh, for some of my friends that uh, aren't aware of what we do as court reporters, uh, give you an idea of what um, court reporters do and how our funny-looking little machine works. If you were to look here on the screen, <clears throat> you would see that I have a keyboard here. Let me see if I can make a modification here. Here's my keyboard and how it looks uh, if you're looking down from above. I have my uh, beginning sounds which are these keys here which my left hand control. Then I have my vowels which my thumbs control, my left thumb and right thumb, left thumb, left thumb, right thumb, right thumb, and then my right hand controls the right side of the keyboard. <coughs> We write things phonetically. Sometimes it looks the way it sounds. Sometimes it doesn't. For instance, if you were to look here on the key and I wanted to write the word hot, you see I have an H over here on the left side. I have an O and I have a T. I can write that. Let me see. Well, maybe I can. Here we go. Hot. Yeah, my key's in the right place. H O T. That would be the word hot. I can write the word pot, P-O-T, rot, R-O-T, etc. Now if I was going to write the word, uh, for instance, uh, ham, I have an H and an A, but I don't have a M over here. So we are taught that these two letters here, P and L, are the M sound. So I could do ham, ram, Pam, etc. Sam. You can see here that it can be uh, rather uh, complicated pretty quickly. If I was going to write the word uh, lug or lot, L O T, I've got the L over here, but it's not over here. I can't transpose or, or turn letters around or move them around. So if I was going to write the word lot, I have to use a combination over here, and we are taught that this is our L sound. So L-O-T would be lot. L-E-T would be let, etc. You can see that um, um, it's pretty complicated. Uh, if I want to have speaker IDs, uh, for instance, you watch us in court doing question and answer. This is my symbol for a question. I have to write that first before anything else. And when the answer is given, I write this combination here. So in court, we have to write question, hot, answer, hot. And it gets uh, crazy at that point because not only do you have question and answer, like this, but then you have speakers and I use these combination of letters for speakers so I have to identify who's talking in the courtroom I can't just sit there and write <clears throat> or it would get complicated now I'm going to bring up uh, a window here and let's see if we can uh, give you some examples of what I'm talking about so if I'm going to write along here you should be able to follow hopefully and see my translation come up question what is your name? Answer, Harry Lee. Question, where do you live? Answer, San Antonio, comma, Texas. So we can look here after the command here on the white lettering. Question, what is your name? That's how I write what is your name, W-H-A-U-R-N, and it translates over here, what is your name? And then we have answer right here which is the combination of keys I showed you and then Harry Lee and then question right here's your question symbol where do you live don't ask why that is what it is it just is what it is that's what I was taught and it works for me instead of having to write for instance where do you live I can write it one two three four strokes or I can choose to write it in one. And when you're going along uh, rather quickly, 
<clears throat> you can uh, appreciate why we as court reporters need to shorten things down, write long words in one stroke or two strokes instead of like a typewriter where you would have to spell it out letter by letter. So um, this kind of gives you a brief uh, idea of, of kind of how question and answer works with a court reporter. You've got your question stroke and then you write what is said and then when the witness answers you write that. Now when this court wants to say something, counsel, slow down which I would love to hear the court say, that would be great. <laughs> and then the speaker can say, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Another speaker can say, we will try to do better. And you can look here, um, the court was this combination of uh, letters here, all my banks, counsel, comma, slow down. Once again, I told you that HR was the L, S-L-O-E is long O, slow, T-K is the D, D-O-U-N, P-B is N, slow down. <clears throat> Speaker is Mr. Whoever, I'm sorry, Your Honor. Another speaker says, we will try to do, and it says better. So in this day and age, court reporters were able to write on the machine, and it translates instantly we're able to do this on closed captioning and television, uh, etc. But this kind of gives you a brief idea of what we do as court reporters. And I hope that uh, that uh, explained uh, fairly simply uh, and give you an idea and maybe an appreciation of what we do in our profession. Happy court reporting and captioning week. Thanks. <laughs>